Moose and Spiel. We're yep. back. John and JD playing The Last of Us. Yep. We're in the sewer. We're in the sewers. It's been a really long time. I don't even remember what's happening here. Uh, it's been a week. Have I shot two Ellie weeks? Yet? How long has it been? Ha- I don't a know. week or two since we last played this. Who are all these people? And which one can I kill? <laughs> oh, I remember. This is a black yeah. guy who betrayed me, and then we decided to not... Be- he- well, he, he didn't betray you. He just oh. ditched you. And then later he decided not to ditch right, me. Check this side he out. kind of saved you from the water and whatnot. And this is how I go faster, but depending on where I am is the speed of the Are you running. a fan of the sewer systems in Toronto? No, I've never seen that. <laughs> Are you trying to be topical? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're in the sewer and... I haven't been to the sewer system in Toronto. Have you been to the sewer system in Houston? I went to the sewer system in Paris. That's a fucked up thing. You mean the catacombs? Or like something different? No, it's an actual sewer system. It's like... It's almost like you're in a box. Huh. Because it was built so long ago? Yeah, they have tours in the sewer system. Yeah. I mean, Paris is one of those cities that's existed as long as people have. Ooh. That's pretty wild. This way? Paris predates the Roman Empire. Uh... Nah, there's no way to reach no that. No way you can reach it. Well, I can't swim. That makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Do kids just not know how to swim these days? It's really not that hard to swim. Across. Really, really, really not that hard. <laughs> well, the girl I was with for a long time, I may have mentioned this before, but she didn't learn how to swim until she was in her mid-twenties. Yeah, but that's just because she wasn't near water, right? Hey, maybe this will be somewhere. No, she wasn't. Kind of middle of nowhere farmland where she grew up. Jam. Yeah, and then as soon as you get near water, you're like, "Oh, this is how you swim." I can't reach it. Well, I don't know. It's, it's she said it took like a year for her to actually learn how to do it, mm-hmm. and uh, she s- still can't really go underwater very well. And definitely not a strong swimmer by any means. Right. Yeah. You just kick with your legs. I was swimming last night, even though it's the middle of January. Uh, where do I go? I can't figure it out. You were? Yeah. Uh, the leader's apartment. <laughs> there's a, wait, there's an indoor pool there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep, hot tub, pool, and sauna, but the sauna wasn't very good. Oh, man, I'm living in the wrong place. I guess so. Wait, so Well, mine's I... out, my, I mean, here, the, the pool's outside, and it's only open, like, three months of the year. Oh, you got an outdoor pool. Yeah. Basically at the time of year where you don't really need a pool in your place. Because you can go swimming anywhere at that point. Right. So how do I... Wait. But I guess if you just want to chill here, I mean, it's nice. Yeah. I moved in like two days before it closed. I mean, I think the hot tub's like the the, the selling point of most pools. I don't know if there there is a hot tub down there. I wish there is. Let me check. Don't fall off. I don't think so. I mean, it's all covered up. <laughs> how do I change weapons again? I forgot how to play this game entirely. That's pro- that's professional, right? Let me just check outside real quick. <laughs> yeah. I forget how to play this game altogether. Well, figure it out. Okay. Uh, how do I switch weapons again? Okay, that's how I crouch. So I want to do this, but I want to change the weapon. Well, you got to open up the... Like, crouch down to the... Open up the sack. <laughs> I gotta do Is what? Is it R2? You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> R2 does that. Okay. So now I'm out of weapons. Okay, I got it. There, there you go. go. Well, wait, what is it? The the D-pad? So you can swap. Yep. Okay, there we go. There you go. Got it. All right. So go for a swim. Uh, I did. I couldn't find where to go, so I got out. Over there? Where? Over Where? Over here? Where they're pointing? Yeah. Might as well. I bet you need a board, and then they'll get on it, and head over there, and like start a generator or something. I'm That's what sure. they always do. Y'all wait there. Y'all wait there. <laughs> yeah, y'all wait there while I go find a board for us to <laughs> swim on. <laughs> okay, bud. We'll wait over here, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was one time in... Uh, in Hanover, we went to the. In in Germany, they don't oh, really do have. To, like, do I have to dive? Sorry. Oh, maybe yeah. So in in northern Germany, oh, there was a firefly pendant. Firefly. How do I get that stuff? X probably or triangle. I'm one of the two. Out. One of the two. 
Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, I think X actually makes me fly back up. Oh, that's right. It's triangle. Yep. Uh huh. Did you get it? No, you didn't. Oh, okay. You got it. You don't need to view it. <laughs> um, so there aren't really outdoor pools. They're few and far between, right? So we go to an indoor pool. And you don't right. really experience this in America where, you know, there's, there's locker rooms and whatnot. Oh, there you go. But um, in Germany... Nudity is like a like a thing they don't care about really. It was just this open square and a tiny locker only about Henry, you know, give it a, shot. a foot a one by one, you know. Right. And a uh, bunch of old people just just stripping down. They just wear a towel and they they're just heading to the sauna. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. Well, remind you know anytime someone says something about like you know Japan or the East. You know, nudity is not a big deal, but when you experience it for the first time, it's kind of shocking. Right. Yeah. So. Th I mean, that wasn't my first time. I was. I was. I was used to it, right? At by that point, because I already lived there a year. Yeah. Year prior. <laughs> when we get out, the girl I was with. Hold on. Hello. Yo. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, sounds good. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything. Okay, bye. So we'll probably get like a pizza or something tonight and okay. a beer. Pizziolo. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds good. Pizziolo. Love that place. Whoa, he looks happy. <laughs> wow, you stung the shit out of him. It is a clicker. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, man. I shipped him and everything. Yeah, cool. Red, Red's finally come over. It'll be the first time you two have met each other. Yeah, good. Uh, good yeah. Thing. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so... She comes out of the out of the locker room, and she, you know... Uh, she doesn't... Obviously, she doesn't go swimming very often. Uh, how do I... Hey, you gotta switch weapons, man. Yeah. And he is just freaking out. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Baby bastard. Dang. Oh, yeah. Blow his head off. Joe! Yeah, okay. Yeah. Still in one piece. Still in one piece. And her reaction on on the on her face was in total shock because she had seen so many old women <laughs> at once. And I had seen them come out and then veer off to go to the, go to the, the sauna, as they would say in northern Michigan. Right. <laughs> and she was just so uncomfortable after that. Cut to Romania, right? And I'm there in the summer on an, on, a, on an internship. Right. <laughs> and she takes me to the local pool that... This is coming from a place where she's lived, like, almost a decade, right? Mm-hmm. And she'd never been to the pool before. Because she didn't know how to swim. Okay. For quite some time. And uh, kind of a workaholic, so that kind of explains the other half of why she hadn't been there. So we go to the pool... And I didn't know this, but most of those public places in Romania are uh, kind of nudist. Okay. So I was just totally distracted. That's something that I'd never experienced before. Because <laughs> I don't know if you know this, John, but Romanians are hot. Yeah, they can be, yeah. Oh my god, they're a beautiful, they beautiful women country. <laughs> yeah. Eastern Europeans in general. Oh, oh yeah, they're definitely, definitely my main squeeze. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> she's trying to talk to me, and I'm just constantly just left, right, left, right. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of them that with, uh, fake breasts, which was actually quite shocking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because, I, you know, when, when I think boob jobs, I always think, like, California. Okay. There's People from California. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go oh, there you go. But, that's apparently that's, that's a nor that's normalcy in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this place. So wait, we're only doing one kid at a time here? I guess so. 
Come on, Ellie, you know the drill. So why isn't the other father helping at all? Yeah. Is he protecting the kids from nothing? I, I, don't, I, don't, know. I don't know. You know what? I think we're just going to go over here, Ellie. It would be really funny if I just capsized her. <laughs> hey, Ellie. <laughs> Let's see how long you can hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Did kids ever do that to you in the in the pool? Growing up, where they would, like, dunk you? Yeah, we'd, yeah, we'd horse around. Yeah. That would scare the piss out of me, because I can't hold my breath underwater very long. Especially as a kid, with my asthma. All right. uh, so when kids would do that, I would just, like, instantly just chug in water. Oh, uh, no way. Yeah. It was, it was not a fun time, by any means. <laughs> I would get super pissed off. And they knew that. Oh, I guess they're just ditching you. I, they can pro I, I bet when he gets across, they'll just pull you up. Yeah, seems to be right. Um. Yeah. I did. I did go to Nudist Beach in Denmark once before, but I wasn't there very long. And it's uh, and in, in very northern Germany, in like the Rostock area, they had they had the Olympics there at one point, Summer mm -hmm. Olympics. And um, time to get going. That was like 98% old people. Like people 40, 50 plus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta say, I'm so, I guess that's new. So if you're, it. yeah, I mean, if you're in your 20s, you're not gonna, not gonna probably have a good time. <laughs> hmm. You're just gonna be like, I don't know if I should be here. Right. I'm really hoping for a younger audience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing with new speeches, they're always like, they're never what you, never the people you want to see nude. But, hey, when you're in your 40s and 50s, now you have something to look forward to. Oh, man. I'm allergic to old people nudity. <laughs> Imagining old people in the nude, not yeah. your thing. Hmm. Uh, on my way, folks. I'm first through. That's the rule. It's a soundtrack. It's a sort of alarm. Well, you don't hear anything because it already happened. Don't look like that's the case anymore. Someone thought they could keep a place like this safe. <laughs> Did you get the memo? <laughs> mm -hmm. Someone didn't get the memo. Oh. Or their TPS report. <laughs> right. <laughs> hold to equip. Let's hold this one. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Look at that Sawed thing. off shotgun? No, it's like just a really powerful pistol. It's a shorty. Okay. Well, that's what rappers are always talking about. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. They talk. They talk about the girls. Oh my God! So, <laughs> I gotta tell. I gotta tell the story. I was okay. So, class in Rhode Island, right? I, for some reason, no, I know how. I know how it started. So, I watched this video of this of this like Swedish dude singing in 23 different like pitches, kind of trying to mimic all these different uh, singers. Okay. And one of the songs he sang was. Um, it was, uh, uh, Thrift Shop by Macklemore. Okay. Like the, the, the dumbest white guy trying to rap ever. Yeah. <laughs> so I had, I kept, after I heard that, I had that first verse just stuck in my head for like two days. So I walk in, like Tuesday morning, I walk in to the, uh, to the training facility and I'm singing, I'm going to pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. <laughs> I, I'm hunting, looking for the come up. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all look at me like I've gone nuts. Yeah, because <laughs> they don't listen to that music yeah. at all. Of course not. <laughs> so they thought I was taking. I, I like had made it up. <laughs> <laughs> they go, "What does that? What does popping tags mean?" <laughs> Oh jeez! <laughs> so I'm like I'm like testing equipment, and I just keep going. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get a you get a song stuck in your head. Oh man! Uh, so then we ah, uh, oh, it was it was f so funny, and it just it just kept going like that. Just random lyrics, I, verses I'd keep singing to things mm. that they'd never heard before. I bust into a villain and villain of ice verse a couple times and <laughs> a vanilla oh right yeah <laughs> so you see a theme going with that <laughs> oh there's a oh guy. well well I'm gonna turn on my oh shit there's a bunch of them. oh 
You got a you got a horde against you there. Well, I got buddies here. You should be helping me out. Looking for a gun. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, you okay. did not. You did not pop some tags. Yeah, I, I need to take more. Uh, <laughs> I had to be more careful around those guys. Okay. Oh, uh, the 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 other when I when I when the line come up, twenty dollars in my pocket. Apparently, the uh, bus driver that was driving us heard me say that line, but that's all he heard was $20 in my pocket and he goes oh that's okay I can break a 20 <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh I'm sorry no 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 I only have Canadian money mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's no, it's no good go. here because <laughs> everything's with the with the uh, the company card when I'm on things like that so I just don't even bother taking money out right yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry this is awkward because <laughs> the hotel you know uh, Tyco where I was at pays yeah. for that service. Yep. So, I don't know. So I do this. I well, I didn't feel compelled to, to tip the tip the guy. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to drive at. Right. Plus, it was kind of awkward when he heard that. So, what do you think of your shorty? Uh, wait. Pull X to swap. I'm holding it. It's not swapping. Hold X to swap. Huh. So that's weird. I'm holding now, X. No, no. Well, you gotta press it again when you're on that menu. Yeah. And so now I'm pressing. Uh, so now I just press X. Let me mm. see. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. No, that's not it. No, try, still trying to figure it out. There you go. Oh, you geez. You just held it down. Bizarre. Or what? Okay. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay, well, so continue, let's go continue up on. here. What's in here? Hopefully it's a trap and I get blown It is up. a laundry room. Oh, well, he looks kind of green. Someone died in the laundry room. He looks a bit green in the face, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this is their meth lab. Nice. They, they, hey, they went out doing something they loved. Yep. So that's, um, that's a water siphoning system they've built there. You see that? Rain catcher note. Okay, yeah. I see. So they're distilling stuff. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, jeez. That's really smart. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you're going to need. What If the zombie apocalypse comes, what do you actually need? You need water, fresh water. Yeah. So a water purification system would actually be really helpful. I mean, it's a great idea to kind of hold yourself, hold yourself up in the sewer kind of like this, but all it takes is just one fuck up. Clearly, that's what happened. And you're, you're enclosed in there. You know? Yep. Nowhere to go. Yep. Kind of screwed. <laughs> okay, so they got... They clearly had their... Had a, had a good idea of what, what they were going to do for water. I'm curious of what their solution was for food. Ah. Uh, somebody's little toy of thing. Uh, there's... Their food was to eat the zombies. I don't know if that was cornered note. All notes have corners. Four, in fact. We're trapped. I think everyone else is dead. Some of the little ones are with me. I got infected pounding at the door. I don't know how long we'll hold out. If... If um, it comes down to it, I'll make it quick. So he... Well, I don't see the kids anywhere. You know... Oh, you know what I... You, you know what? We haven't seen in this game? Kids. Infected kids. Because they're all dead. Why would the infected kids be dead? Uh, because they can't survive as easily as the adults. Because the adults just eat them. So I think they didn't want to show Joel and company shooting kids. Probably not. That's probably the only reason. Yeah. It would have been it would have been nice if they had something written, like you said. Yeah. Like the the child body can't hold up over time or something. Yeah. To the infection. I mean, other games never really minded that. Like Dead Space has absolutely no problem with you killing babies. Are there infected babies in Dead Space? Oh, yeah. Hey. I've never played Dead Space. No? No. I want to play it for Halloween. Okay, yeah. Because, I mean, it's pretty cheesy. Like, the first one was great, and then the other ones are just, like, trying to, you know, redo it all. So before time. you go through this, or decide to go through the exit sewer, is we'll this, do this. Wait, what's this one over here? I think we'll do this next time. Okay. I think this is just a dead end over here. So let's just spend some time in our nice little garden. You gonna take a nap because you're old? Plant some flowers. 
Get a little herb garden going. Herb? Herb. <laughs> a little herb garden. Okay, everybody. Thank you for joining us on another amazing episode of The Last of Us on Mushenspiel. Yep. Bye. Bye.